Well, hey there guys, I'm coming to you from my backyard today and in a squatting position because the sun is so bright that I know this beginning intro, I'll just be squinting if I don't get down right next to the fence. So I'm actually gonna be showing you guys our garden. So if you're an expert gardener, don't judge me. It's time for us to cut back our garden and I need to do that so it can start like putting more energy towards producing fruit. Um, but I thought I'd show you guys, since this is our first year doing a garden, we've had a couple things that have died, a few things that have not taken. Um, so I'll talk you guys through that too. But I'll show you guys what we got going on. Right now it kinda looks like we got a jungle in our main garden bed. <laughs> um, but I do know I need to cut it back and we're gonna be doing that. I need to get some proper garden shears and that's part of the reason I haven't yet. Um, but if you have tips for cutting back um, on the specific plants I have, let me know what they are because I will take all the help I can get. This is my first year, we really don't know what we're doing yet. Clearly you will see that. But I thought it'd still be fun to introduce you and so kind of like I have this look back on once we were gardening for maybe many years and just to see kind of where we started and probably laugh at myself, but we'll see. So I'm gonna walk you guys through. We have our main garden bed and then we have five crates which we'll show you in a minute. This is my Great Dane that you guys see in the back of a lot of my videos, so he's gonna say hi of course. Um, if you see dog poop, that's their dog area over there. So again, apologies. So this is our main garden area. There are no weeds in here. This is all garden. So over here is all watermelon. Like all of this except right in here, which is a carrot and back here, which is a carrot. Now the reason that this has taken over so much is we planted our watermelon right there. So he's kind of spread out this way. We underestimated just how much room a watermelon would take up. Which I'm a little let down that no garden experts told us this on our vlog channel. If you guys don't know, my family and I vlog two days a week on our vlog channel called It's Us. Um, and we kept saying like, where are we putting the watermelon? And no one ever said like, that's probably not gonna be enough room, Ariana and Ryan. <laughs> Um, well, we now know watermelon needs a lot more space. So what's funny though is like it's all stemming from right here where it's rooted so it's just vines over this. Otherwise, um, the carrots are doing okay under here. I just kind of have to make sure that their leaves are getting sunlight basically. So yeah, we did have cucumbers that were planted here and those did not come through at all. They didn't take a, and even a little bit. We started them in like a little grow pot, like in a little seedling grow pot things. They didn't take like everything else did for some reason, um, but that's okay. And then this is where our strawberries were. You can see one little one is seeming to come through there and that took like over a month before it sprouted. Uh, so we had three in there and only one has come through, but it's, it's starting. Now this is our tomato plant that really needs to be cut back. Um, it's impeding on the space of my snap peas. Our snap peas have been struggling quite a bit. One in the back just wasn't getting enough sun. Um, and that is, I think next year what we're gonna do is place the tomatoes here and the snap peas over there because the tomato just, it grows really fast and it takes up the sunlight. So if we put them on opposite sides and we'll do watermelon somewhere else. But anyways, so we don't have that one, but we have this snap pea back here. So you can kind of see he's struggling a bit here. So he does actually have some peas right here that are ready to be pulled. Um, so we're gonna probably do that today. This guy has started flowering, but no fruit yet. So like I said, we're gonna be cutting him back though so we can help him focus a little more on fruit. Uh, oh, there's another snap pea right here too. These ones are like super thick. We literally planted one watermelon. Like, you know, you look at the pack, it says plant this many seeds in a pot. We did one. This is what we got. <laughs> um, so yeah, here are the carrots. Um, so there's two that are coming up here. We still have a good amount of learning to do when it comes to like female and male ends because you need both to produce like better fruit, I guess. Um, and I have no idea how to figure out what fruit, what end is what end. We have these five crates right here. Um, and so we have asparagus right here in the middle. These guys are doing great. Now you're not supposed to harvest these for at least a year, preferably a couple years. Um, just so these are just growing. We're just letting them be right now. Um, but they did really well and then this guy is a blackberry. I think he's getting I think this means too much Sun um, Which is kind of funny because I'm pretty sure they're supposed to be in full Sun We've had these two that started to sprout up and then they died um, But in the beginning it was giving us like tons so We can't figure out what's going on with them, but our raspberry bushes have just Continued they've never done well. <laughs> we don't know why 
Um, so yeah, thankfully they, we got ours from Lowe's and they have a one year warranty so we can return all of these and just get them replaced next year. So that's west that way and that's east that way. So they get a ton of sun here and it said that they needed a lot of sun and they get it here for sure. So I'm not sure why they're not happy. Again, if you guys, those expert gardeners or know a lot about raspberry blackberry bushes, let us know. And then this blackberry bush is doing okay. He's got like a couple of these brownie spots too, but you see he has one that's right here that's fine. We've gotten actually a lot of blackberries that we've eaten and they've been really good from them, but they've just all of a sudden the last month, I would say, started to yellow for some reason and we don't know why. Um, so this was not meant to be a video of like, look at my perfect garden, this is what it looks like. This is my this is my beginner garden. I don't know what the heck I'm doing. If you know how I should fix what I'm doing, let me know. <laughs> but I thought you guys would enjoy seeing it. So this garden we actually did make, our fence guy had a lot of leftover pieces that he was just gonna throw away, so we kept them to build our garden. And then these crates, we actually got like 30 of them for free. Um, from a local grocery store that was just getting rid of them. Um, so we've kept them with for various projects and then we planted in these. And that could be part of the issue. Maybe like this just isn't enough for like a root system for them, um, which we had planned next year to grow, to build like a, a larger, taller, like built-in one basically for all of them, which would solve that problem. So it might just be that what they're in is not enough for their roots, which could totally be what the issue is. This, we knew it needed to be planted a lot um, lower, so we did a double stack crate here. We just removed the bottom of one and connected them together. And if you guys are curious, this is our compost bin. Uh, we scored this for, I think it was 10 or 20 bucks um, on offer up, and it's by Lifetime. You can actually get like a one half the size from Costco for about 100 bucks. So along with the garden is our rain barrels, which my husband set up. Uh, so this has an overflow system that goes down here with PVC pipe, and it runs all the way out to the back of our yard. Um, so this we can use to water our garden with or whatever it may be. Um, so in certain states there are like heavy regulations or I think there might be one state that's illegal or something like that to collect rainwater. But just check your state's regulations before you do that. So we have one hooked up here to a downspout and then we have another rain barrel over here that also has an overflow that runs all the way along the bottom of the fence there. It's that hose. So it runs there. How you doing, gray boy? That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I am going to, once we get the entire yard finished and put in uh, the, I would say grass, but we're actually gonna do something different, which, so you'll have to wait for that video. Um, I'm gonna do like a minimalist backyard tour or whatever. Um, homestead, minimalist homesteaders backyard tour. I guess that would kind of be what it is. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, look forward to that and I will see your wonderful faces on Thursday. Bye.